Hey everyone, this is Jean. So I'm going to show you how to make magnetic bookmarks with your Silhouette Studio program. And if you're ready, let's start. So I'm using Silhouette Studio Designer Edition because you can't use SVGs with the free studio program. And to start, I am going to set my paper size to letter because that is the size of cardstock that I will be printing and cutting. And since this is a print and cut project, I will go ahead and set the registration marks to show. So now I can import my SVGs and I will be using the lettering delights happily ever after. Set and this will be the front and this is the back. Now the back you can get from my blog as a free download but you will have to purchase the front from the Lettering Deluxe website and I have the link, a link to the set on my blog so please check my blog. And to start I will reduce the size of the images by 50% and I'm going to flip the back both vertically and horizontally. And next I'm going to move this up and align the two images so that they, they are centered horizontally like so. And the 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 height of this um these two together is now f about just slightly over four. Now I want them to be further apart. So let's just shift this and check that the height of both should be around maybe 4.12 like that. So let's just zoom in so that you can have a better look. And now I'm going to get an offset with an offset distance of about 0 0.05. I will hit enter and I'm going to click apply. All right. So let's click offset one more time to get a second offset. And this time I will set the offset distance to 0 0.1. And I will click apply. So now I want to fill this second offset with a background paper. And I am using this piece that is also from the same collection. So let's just close and drag and drop. And I do not want the background paper to show within the first offset. So I'm going to fill that shape with white instead. So let's fill it with white and do the same for the image on the bottom. Let's try again. Fill it with white. Now just in case um, the red line show, which I, I don't want it to show, I will just change the line color to transparent. Do the same for the one below and the overall offset. Before I can send this to print and cut, I want to make sure that the cut lines are turned on and they are not. So I will select the outer offset and set the cut lines to cut. So at this point, I am actually ready to print and cut this bookmark out. Now, so that we minimize on the wastage of the paper, you can actually fill in the entire page like I have done. So over here, I have filled it with all the princesses from the same happily ever after set. And to print and cut, just click on this send to silhouette icon on the top and follow the instructions over there. Now this is just the first half of the tutorial to see how I assemble the bookmark and make it magnetic. Please refer to my blog um, under Cherry Tree to see part two of this tutorial. All right, so that's all for now. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.